In this video, we're going to look at the chemical structure of DNA. We're going to talk about chromosomes and how chromosomes are condensed or DNA is condensed into chromosomes to fit in the nucleus. We're going to look at the components of that DNA and the structure of DNA. So chromosomes are made up of a single strand of DNA, so that's where the DNA is found inside the nucleus. Uh, however, only about 40% of each chromosome is actually that DNA strand. The rest of it consists of a protein called chromatin uh, that allows that DNA strand to condense from the few centimetres long that it would be if you stretched it out uh, to the somewhere around 10 micrometres long that it is when it's condensed into a chromosome. And that ranges from about 5 to about 20 micrometres depending on the chromosome. The way that it's condensed is by getting that single strand of DNA and wrapping it around proteins called histones. Once it's wrapped around histones, this forms kind of like a beaded necklace called a nucleosome. And then these nucleosomes are further condensed using loops, coils and rosettes uh, to form the chromosome. So if you think about this, if you've got the fibres in a rope, those fibres twist together around each other to form a strand of that rope. Those strands twist together to form the rope itself. Now, if you've got that rope and tied a whole heap of knots in it, and you see uh, sometimes they'll just daisy chain ropes to store them, uh, and it gets shorter and shorter, and eventually it fits inside a nucleus. Okay, the components of DNA. DNA stands for deoxyribosnucleic acid, which basically tells us what the components are. So there's a backbone, which is made of deoxyribose, uh, as well as phosphate groups, which don't get a look in for the name. And then there are four different nucleic acids uh, found within the DNA, which are referred to as bases. So deoxyribose is a saccharide. It's based off ribose, a sugar. Uh, and it has lost an oxygen atom, therefore making it deoxy. We also have a phosphate group that links these different deoxyribose together uh, to form that backbone that I mentioned earlier. We also have the different bases. So the bases are adenine, guanine, thionine and cytosine. And they can pair up with their complementary base and they are in the center kind of like rungs on a ladder connected to the backbone. And they only pair in a particular way, thymine with adenine and cytosine with guanine. And this is because of the hydrogen bombs, bonds that form between the two bases, uh, the way that all the functional groups sit, that's the only way that they can join together. Uh, once we get these bases linked together, they form the rungs on a ladder, as I mentioned before, with our, so we've got our rungs, as I said, ATGC, uh, our ribose and our phosphate backbone. On a 3D level, these strands of DNA actually twist around, uh, forming a spiral called a double helix. So if the two-dimensional structure was a ladder, the three-dimensional structure would be a spiral staircase. In this video, we've talked about chromosomes and how DNA condenses around proteins called histones uh, or together called chromatin to form chromosomes, which are found in the nucleus. We've looked at the components of DNA being deoxyribose, which is a sugar, phosphate, which links those sugars together to form the backbone, and the four bases, adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. And we've looked at the structure of DNA at a two-dimensional level being a what we refer to as a ladder, with the bases being the rungs and the sugar phosphate backbone being the up and down bits of the ladder. I don't even know what they're called. Um, and we've talked about the three-dimensional structure where the double helix forms what we could refer to as a spiral staircase. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.